For this craft, you'll want to grab two wooden craft hoops from the crafting section at Dollar Tree, as well as one fuzzy microfiber, I can't say it, microfiber dusting cloth or mop head cover. And then you'll want to grab scissors and cut that microfiber cloth into sections. So there's, this can get really messy if you're not careful. So you want to kind of follow the natural dividing sections and cut the cloth into four strips. And then from there, you're just gonna hot glue away. Just start by hot gluing to the outer edge of the ring. A silicone fingertip protector might be helpful. And then once you've got the outer ring covered, then start adding more hot glue and folding over the edges. The whole point is just to cover as much of that wood as, as possible. And then I also added a second strip of that microfiber cloth to the larger ring as well. You'll see here that this two pieces don't completely cover the ring, but that's fine. You're going to leave that for now and go ahead and add another section and then a piece of a section so that you have the smaller ring completely covered. So for this, I was able to finish this whole wreath with one mop head dusting cloth. Because then once that smaller ring is completely covered, if you layer it over top of the larger ring, it covers that unfinished section on the larger ring. I just grabbed some floral wire then, wrapped it around a few times, and twisted it in the back to secure the two rings together, and that formed the snowman's body. And then from there, just embellish. I ordered this, it's like a greenery ribbon. It looks like leaves, but it's made out of like ribbon material. I ordered it on Amazon, I think it's really fun. I layered that with some black and white check ribbon and made another classic bow, just two bunny ears and then you tie them in the center. And that formed a little bow to put at the snowman's neck. And then I also made a hat using a paint stick. So a regular old paint stir stick, as well as some miter shears. And you'll cut that. It takes a few scores to cut all the way through because paint sticks are a bit thicker. But cut three pieces. So two that are the exact same length to form the top hat. And then one section that is a bit longer to form the brim. Then from there, you can take that scrap section of handle and hot glue that to the back of the hat to kind of hold everything together and you have that classic top hat shape there and then paint everything with black chalk paint. So a one inch flat paintbrush and kind of a dry brush technique so that some of that wood grain pokes through but I was also very careful to paint all the edges of the hat as well so that it looked more finished. And then from there wrap the top hat with another little bit of that greenery ribbon and then hot glue everything in place and you're in business. And here's my little snowman winter wreath. This is a bit smaller than a regular wreath, so I don't think it'd be great for a front door, but for somewhere else in your house, I think it'd be a super cute addition. 